Hello, welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. We are going to discuss about the importance of brackets. So these are the topics that we are going to cover in this session. We are going to see the definition for brackets, followed by which we will be seeing how to use the brackets. And then we will be seeing some examples for expanding brackets. So what is meant by bracket? Mathematical brackets are symbols such as parentheses that are most often used to create groups or clarify the order in which the operations have to be done in an algebraic expression. Some bracket symbols, however, have multiple special uses in mathematics. So let us see how the brackets can be used. The brackets are used mainly for simplifying expressions with more than one operator. The operations that are present inside the back bracket gets the preference first. So that is how the brackets are used. Let us see few examples to illustrate this. Here if you see this series of operations has the bracket over these two terms. So first we will be adding up 1 and 2 to get the answer as 3 which will be multiplied with the third or print as 3. So 3 into 3 you will get the value to be 9. Over here, if you see, we have two set of brackets which encloses the operation as 10 plus 10 which is 20, 7 minus 5 which is 2. So 20 into 2 will give you your answer to be 40. So this is how you can do the computations with brackets. Moving on, we are going to see how we can expand brackets. Brackets help us to pursue a certain methodology to expand the brackets analytically. Let's see an example to illustrate this. So if you see over here, in the example which is given, your 57 is split into 50 plus 7. So for multiplying 4 into 57, we can multiply by multiplying the 4 with 50 and multiplying 4 with 7. That is, 4 multiplied by 50 will give you the answer as 200 because the bracket says the multiplicand is common for both the terms. So 4 multiplied by 7 you get 28. So 200 plus 28 will give you the answer as 228. So this is how we have to expand brackets to compute the operations. Next, the brackets help us to expand analytically. Let us see another example to illustrate this. If you see over here, we have to multiply 303 with 307 which can be simplified 
by writing 303 as 300 plus 3 inside the bracket. Multiply it with 300 plus 7 for 307. So here if you see the 300 term is common in both the cases. So multiplying over here 300 with the term over here you get 303 multiplied by 300 and 300 plus 3 multiplied with 7 so you get 303 multiplied by 7 so it is nothing but a simple multiplication technique in which you are multiplying this whole term with each of the term that is present inside the second set of bracket. So 300 plus 3 multiplied by 300 is the first set of equation. And 300 plus 3 multiplied by 7 is your second set of equation and the plus comes over here. So now solving this you get 300 multiplied by 300 by using the similar technique over here 300 multiplied by 300 plus 3 multiplied by 300 plus 300 multiplied by 7 multiplying the number inside you have 300 multiplied by 7 plus 3 multiplied by 7 so 3 into 7 so now you can easily get your answer as 300 into 300 is nothing but 90,000 3 into 300 is 900 300 into 7 is 2100 3 into 7 is 21 So adding up these terms we get 93021 which is the answer of 303 into 307 So this is how we can expand the brackets to make the computation easier. Thank you so much for joining GTEC. Hope you would have got a very good illustration about the importance of brackets. Thank you.